This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Uniqlo has been dropping some awesome pieces lately and I picked some up to review for y'all and because I really wanted it. So let me show you guys what I picked up. Let's start off with one of the best shirts money can buy, especially if you're a short dude like myself. And I know someone's always gonna comment, how tall are you, what's your height, even though I say in the video, I'm 5'7", I weigh 156 pounds, I have a pretty athletic build. And those body dimensions have always been kind of awkward to say the least whenever it comes to picking up oversized tees. I either have to compensate with a longer hem that goes halfway down my thigh or stick to something a little more fitted. And there's nothing wrong with either of those, it's just I have to think more about my proportions than your average person. So first off, this tee is cut to be more boxy, relaxed fitting instead of just sizing up two sizes for that oversized look. So that means your normal size will automatically be cut to be more relaxed fitting. Unless you're jacked, you're gonna fill out the sleeves anyways, but the hem is at the normal place a shirt should be. Just slightly past the waistline of your pants, but you still get that drop shoulder relaxed look. I love these tees so much that I picked up every single color because they really nailed that fit and no, you don't always need a fitted shirt. So. Relax fitting boxy tees, look how many colors I got. It's totally worth it. And most of the ones I own are a size medium, but this one's in a size large. So I have a small, a medium, and a large. So here's what the small looks like, here's what the medium looks like, and here's what the large looks like. And because of the way this shirt is cut, I can still rock all of those sizes and it's pretty cool actually. Maybe the large I'll rock for more lounge wear and then the mediums will be for the daily fits. The drop shoulder helps the sleeve hit just at the bend of the elbow, which is what you want for that oversized look. And like I said, these are their airism tees. That additional functionality helps massively whenever it comes to the warmer months. Obviously, as of the filming of this video, it's February. I'm in New York. We just had a blizzard. So I'm not really rocking them right now. I rock Uniqlo's Heat Tech, but since this is the spring summer collection, obviously you wear this in the spring and summer. And that extra functionality of breathability is just overlooked in fashion. Not as many people think about it. I wore the Arizona Boxy Tee peak summer last year when I lived in the New Mexican desert. I was not hot. I'm not kidding you. So I always recommend picking these up because it's going to get hot here in a few months. This is definitely a good choice so that way you can stay cool. My next pick I want to recommend you guys is this single breasted trench coat. So a few months ago I had the winter version of this which had a quilted lining inside to keep you more warm but somehow it got destroyed uh, as of recent. So that's why I had to pick this one up. It's a replacement for that. So since this is the spring version, there is no quilted lining. That's only for the winter version. Well, that's totally cool if you want to rock it during the winter time like I did when there was uh, a ton of snow. I just threw on a normal hoodie and then heat tech underneath to keep me warm. But as of the recording of this video, they are fully stocked up. I just went to Uniqlo yesterday. They had a bunch of these as well. So I definitely recommend picking this up ASAP because they always sell out. So the black one, they sold out almost right away. And since it got destroyed, I couldn't pick it back up. So I got this one in a size medium and it actually runs extra long down at the, the trench parts, the trench parts, the, the lower hem. It's extra long compared to the winter version, so just keep that in mind. And this has a more relaxed tailored cut to it, so it's definitely more for those casual looks. Also, it is water resistant, which is perfect for those April showers that are going to arrive in a few short months. They do have dark gray, they have beige, but stick to the dark gray one. These jackets do really give off those New York type outfits because it, it's really cold out here. And I always recommend a trench coat just to elongate your fit. And it's always a nice addition to your normal jackets that can really change the look of your outfit. Definitely my favorite pick up for sure. So these next tees are basically the Aerism tees I just talked about earlier, only it has a pocket and it is not using the Aerism technology. So these are definitely more appropriate for the colder months. I mean, you can still rock it during the summertime as well. They are short sleeves. Um, but it is the oversized pocket tee. Nothing too much to say about this one as it does have the same cut as the Aerism tee, just a pocket. This one is in the dark orange colorway. I wore this during Chinese New Year, sunning Philoc to my uh, my Asian people that celebrate it. I think it's red. I don't think it's really orange at all. I guess you could say it's a blood orange. And just like the Aerism tee, they have a vast assortment of colors. Definitely load up on a bunch of colors if you like this shirt. I will leave a bunch of links in the description down below. And that's it for this one. Right now, I currently am rocking the Stripe tee, which is, has the same exact fitment, but but they call this one the boat neck tee. So you guys remember back in 2015 and 2017, you know, those tees that have a raw edge to it. This is kind of similar to it, only there is still a collar to it and the raw edge doesn't curl. There's a split hem for extra detailing when layered and this is just a good replacement for my oversized cream shirts if I'm feeling a little bit of pattern that day. Stripe tees were huge back then as well, but I just like the way these tees are cut, so that's why I have so many of them. And the stripes are coming back for myself. They have this one in light cream and kind of a coffee brown colorway. I definitely like this one a lot better. Up next is the Jersey shirt jackets. I got this in a size medium, and the only way to really describe this is a chic mar 
modern classy piece. So this gives off work jacket vibes, classy almost blazer type of vibes. I think it's just the clean lines and the sharp angles that make this so classy looking. And just be aware the fit is meant to be more relaxed fitting just like almost all of Uniqlo's stuff. So I just say lean into that. The cuffs are adjustable to give you different ways to wear it. You can wear it with the sleeve up, down, tapered or straight cuts. This one is in the blue colorway which yes it's definitely a nice way to move out of my comfort zone of just a bunch of black jackets. I styled this in a more Japanese type of vibe I guess you could say. Uniqlo is a Japanese brand after all. I'm rocking it with the striped tee, some crop trousers and low top vans, a cap and glasses. I really dig this look. It's a very versatile piece. Now we have the pocket long sleeve tees. I'm sorry I don't have my right now, it's in the laundry. But I picked this one up during fall and winter and it's the same exact one they have right now for spring and summer. However, they don't have the same exact colorway but they do have a lot better ones in my opinion. So I'm just gonna talk about how it fits. I got this in a size medium and it's not a fitted shirt, it's not oversized right in the middle. It's a pretty good choice for a transition piece to layer with. Obviously when it's cold you can layer a thick parka on top and when it gets closer to spring maybe a normal jacket and then when it's spring spring you can just rock it on its own. The chest pocket is just a chest pocket but for 20 bucks pretty solid option to incorporate in the wardrobe especially because of how many color options there are. I wore this tee in a campaign that I did with Bulgari last summer. That was a lot of fun and editing that picture was super fun and easy as well because of all the techniques I learned from the classes over at the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where millions of creatives come together to explore an endless amount of classes to learn anything that they want. I'm always exploring classes on here because I'm a curious dude. I really enjoy learning something or refining a skill because I'm a lifelong learner. There are a ton of classes from music theory, singing, photography, graphic design, business, interior design, drawing, whatever you're interested in, Skillshare has you covered. Some classes I recommend starting off with is Thomas Frank's productivity classes if you want to improve the amount of work that you get done in a day, Jeff Staples' Staples of Branding if you're looking to start a clothing brand, or a video on a budget by YC Imaging, one of my favorite YouTubers, if you want to get started on creating videos. Or you can freshen up your spot by checking out Emily Henderson's interior design class. I did that myself. Place is looking a little fresh. But let me tell you guys about my Instagram content. I watched this class by Justin Bridges on photo editing years ago, back before Skillshare even sponsored me. He's a fashion and lifestyle photographer based in New York City, someone I could totally relate to. And this class really helped me improve my photography game. And I went from fit pics like this back in 2018 to now, and there is a major difference. I guess I could say he did have an impact on me landing a campaign with Bulgari because they liked how I shot my photos and since you guys watched my channel the first 1,000 of you guys that click the link in the description are going to get a free trial of Skillshare premium membership add some life to 2021 we can move past 2020 learn something new so click that link in the description thank you guys in advance for signing up it really helps me out so you do get a free trial and thank you again Skillshare for sponsoring this video all right guys those are my top picks for the Uniqlo U spring summer 21 collection let me know if you guys like seeing these reviews, hauls, and all that. And also comments, pen spinning, so I know that you're cool. I spent two years learning this in high school. It's a pointless skill, but um, I'm very proficient at it. And it's actually anxiety reducing. Um, yeah, it's just so I know that you're cool. Leave that comment down below. Uh, follow me on Instagram at flywithjohnnytai, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.